my beauty lovers welcome to my channel this is girl Zarina today I'll be showing you guys how to make your acne bar soap at home and this is an organic recipe um, but yet very effective <music> Quickly, I'll be introducing to you guys what we'll be using to make this soap. Here we have sodium hydroxide, also known as lye, and um, also called caustic soda. So, here we'll be needing this for this recipe. I'll be needing about um, 68 grams of it. This is um, the main recipe for this um, soap. Here I have my sulfur powder. For this recipe, we need eight grams of um, sulfur powder. In here, I have my jojoba oil. I've turned it in here because I, I lost the cover of um, the original bottle so I had to turn it into this um, sealed um, container you want to use whole bar oil or you go for what other oil can you substitute this for you can go for sunflower oil because um, it's a it's a mild oil ranging from 0 to 2 and sunflower oil tends to go for all skin type jojoba oil is also in that range but is suitable basically it's basically for you know acne prone skin so you, you want to go with um, sunflower oil or jojoba oil do not go for grapeseed almond oil or what have you don't say I can get this oil let me go for this that won't give you the, the results you're looking for let's put this away here I have my lavender essential oil and in here, I have my tea tree water. So, quickly, over here I have um, where the soap mold will be putting our soap in. Should I tell you guys? So, try as much as possible to work in a very clean environment. Sterilize all your utensils. To avoid germs or bacteria getting into your product here is our scale so we'll be measuring out our first I want to measure out my my lye we'll be needing 68 grams of lye in a tar. And please, when you're working with your sodium hydroxide, you need to be very careful. Wear protective cloths. Don't be like Sarina, who is on and just um, this kind of gloves, and I'm not wearing a long sleeve. You need to wear a long sleeve. This is super, you know, hazardous or dangerous. You need to be careful. We need about 68 grams. Uh, 58. 10 more. 67. And that's it. No, that's way too much. 69. 68. set this aside and we'll be needing about 160 ml of our tea tree water so one time and measure out your water I just turn that off. One sixty ML. Oh, that's way too much. Seven 
that's that. That's the weight. Set this aside and um, measure out your sulfur powder. Maybe about eight grams of your sulfur powder. These guys try to work in a very neat environment, sterilize all your utensils. It's very important. Eight grams. Seven. And that's it. Eight grams. We also need um, to measure out our oil. Oh my god, I love containers. Just to get one. I'm just doing it in one of the jars here. up to 160 here I didn't check oh, that should do Opa, that's it 160 ml of your your oil I'm gonna set this aside in here I want to measure out Lavender, lavender essential oil. Oh, I exhaust like that. I need to open. So we set this aside. Now we'll put this away because <laughs> it's about to get serious. In here you have your water, your tea tree water, and you want to add your caustic soda or lye as you just call it. Now you need to be careful when you do this. Because um, this is where people get it all wrong. Don't make a mistake by putting in your light first before turning in your water. You just get it to splash all over your face. Then you start mixing. A very long spoon. It's very smoky. I don't know if you can see the smoke. It's very hot. And you want to cover your nose when you're doing this. It's super hot, guys. Super, super hot. You want to keep mixing until you dissolve all your lye. Um, mix it until you dissolve everything. 
make sure they have no ground hairs. And you want to work in a, in a very ventilated environment. So at this point, um, temperature checked, you should um, start adding over things at um, 40 degrees centigrade. If you add it when it's above that um, state, you get um, you get it wrong. You could just uh, it could just go dark. You don't want your soap, soap dark, you know. So at this point now, we want to start adding the oil, and I need my stick blender. So. Please guys, if you must do this, mix your light. You want to mix it in a very ventilated um, environment so as not to get so as not to get um, choked or get a bone, you know. You need to be very careful and you want to make sure kids are not around you when you're doing this. Caustic soda it's um <laughs> It's um, super, super dangerous. So we want to mix this um, together. We want to mix it until it gets a trace. So at this point, I, I need my, I need my, uh, what's it called? The spoon again. I need to add my salt for powder. And just mix it together. And I add my oil. mixing your soap until it gets to until it gets to trace right now it's still, it's still very you know you can see it's, it hasn't formed yet It doesn't if it doesn't get to a trace before you you turn it into your mold it will separate so don't just mix it and you start turning it into your mold without it uh, without it forming it has to solidify kind of a little bit trace um, when it gets to this um, consistency like a lotion at this point you can um, add your coloring if you so desire you can add any kind of coloring that you want at this stage and blend in properly so um, let's blend again and we'll turn it into the mold and leave it <laughs> So right 
try to let me set this aside and here's our mold. I'm using this. If it doesn't get to this stage and you and you turn your soap, it's going to separate. You can whisk to get um, a harder consistency, but I like to turn it at this stage. But it should have to be like this before you can turn it into your mold. So. And you want to leave this in the mold for like um, about a week. You bring it out and you place it on a, a flat surface and it's ready to use in three weeks. So this how to make your acne um, face soap. You can only use this, you can start using this soap after three weeks, but the more it stays, um, the better. You know, the longer your soap stays, it kills the more. So, but after three weeks, it's just um, ready to be used. But if you're making a large production that is going to the market, you want to keep it, um, you want to place it on this um, flat surface for about three months, and that means you're making it in a very large quantity and it's going to the market you know so that's about that for this um video and this is how you make your acne facial bath soap so try this at home and uh, let me know how or what you feel about this recipe on to my next video guys see you safe station bye bye guys oh.